Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up an effective airline on, on Air Tycoon 4. Now uh, yeah, you might have watched my uh, original one which I did of uh, how to set up an effective airline. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> replacing it uh, with the, this one. So uh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry I have an uh, it's coming in new here and you don't know about how I set up yet. Sorry I am using uh, my uh, my uh, camera but yeah, my, I don't have any screen recorder. I used to have one but uh, yeah, it does not work uh, anymore. I used to be able to use it, but uh, yeah, there's no other one that I can uh, do. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to set up effective airline now. Yeah, I'm just going this in the game. Um, I'm not going to be showing you. Uh, I have the one I'll link in the description. Uh, the one I did on uh, Norwich Airways. And uh, yeah, if you want to uh, have a look at that, you can see how this, how what uh, these strategies uh, that I've used have uh, come out. And, yeah, on my Air Tiger Four Series Two, you can see uh, how they are applied and how I can, uh, uh, how it's uh, built up uh, over time. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll just uh, show you. In this, uh, how it, uh, how I started with it. So what I do is that I don't have any computer players. So yeah, that's uh, up to you. And uh, a lot of these you can take with a pinch of salt if you uh, <laughs> if you don't want to use them. Like what sort of planes I buy. And, yeah, you don't have to do it. Uh, I usually have it on uh, free play because uh, uh, yeah, then you can have it uh, going up to uh, um, you can have a billion uh, dollars. Uh, yeah, you can still have uh, uh, computer players. So uh, yeah, and you can uh, you can uh, do the game period from 1960 to 2030. Uh, yeah, you can uh, customise it only up to uh, 20 years uh, apart, I think it is. Uh, I'll try and, uh, uh, try and pull that down there. Do, 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 do. I can't move it. Why can I move it? There we go. You can only do uh, after a 20 year period, so yeah, 1960 uh, to uh, 1980 or, or something like that, or like 2000 to 2020. That'll be uh, the only period that you can do. Uh, uh, like maybe the shortest periods you can do, sorry. Um, yeah, I like having uh, the full game, so yeah, I'm just a. Uh, uh, have it at that. Uh, so uh, yeah, I select all the cities. So like you said, you don't you don't have to, but uh, yeah, I like having uh, as uh, going to as uh, going to be able to go uh, to as many places as I can. Because uh, uh, yeah, uh, it'll uh, it'll uh, yeah, uh, you'll be able to be a lot more profitable. Uh, so yeah, I usually base uh, when you base um uh, yeah uh, when you base uh, uh, your city in as it says, uh, choose a city which has high business and a tall level is your main hub for success. So uh, yeah, try and base uh, your airline in a place which is a uh, yeah. I've got a lot of um, <coughs> uh, just uh, got a lot of uh, business uh, and tour. And this is a tour, as you can see at the bottom there. Uh, in the Bahamas, uh, it has 15 business and 36 tour. But if you go in somewhere like Los Angeles, which is down here, uh, yeah, and as you can see, it has 326 business and 352 tour. So uh, yeah, it does have quite a bit. And uh, New York, that as well. Uh, some place like Paris does, uh, likewise, and also uh, London. I'll go there here, yeah, London. I think I'll go in London. That's where I usually start uh, of my airlines, but I uh, don't do well always. So I'm just going to choose London. Now, yeah, for your airline, you can uh, customize what you want. So you've got your logo here. I just what you want. I'll do uh, that logo there, and I'll call myself. Um, I don't know. I'll do what. <laughs> I'll call myself uh, what my uh, new series two uh, airline is. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, do Jet US, even though I am based in uh, Heathrow, because that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but never mind. You can customize your airline. I'm just going to have. I'll have green engines, and uh, I'll have a stri I'll have a bottom bit here of a red. Why not? <laughs> um. And so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that can be uh, that's just going to be my airline. Have that a darker green or something. Actually, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's the other one. That's a red one. I about. I oh, never mind. <laughs> that can be my airline's livery. So uh, yeah, what you can uh, do. And from then on, it's just a uh, yeah. Uh, I, I presume you've uh, gone through this tutorial, so if you haven't, uh, yeah, you will, um, I'm just going to skip it. So uh, yeah, you can uh, so you'll know. Um, hopefully, know uh, yeah, like how to do the game. It's just a uh, yeah, uh, just there's uh, some strategies to do with it. So yeah, uh, what I do uh, to start off with is a uh, yeah. Normally, I would have be based in America, but what I do is um, I'm just checking how much um, charge my tablet's got. Uh, yeah, I uh, what I normally do. Is I just uh, get uh, well? I originally started doing short haul routes and, and then that's first because I thought, oh, there's less competition. But it's better to start with a long haul route. So uh, I should do with the DC uh, the DC811. That's my no. Uh, not one reason is because well, it's actually better than the 707. Uh, is in the fact that it's got um, more. It has same. It has more range than this, but it's got the same amount of seats. It's slightly slower, uh, but this one is a slight slower. That it's got more passengers, but uh, that has less range. Uh, then uh, well, it has more range than this, but uh, yeah, it has a uh, less range um, than the uh, than the DC-811. So that's just what I get. And uh, yeah, one thing that I uh, tend to stick to is I try and stick to uh, um, American uh, manufacturers. Well, not necessarily American ones, just a Western manufacturers. So like 
of the American ones, and there are things like Airbus and uh, British Aerospace and Fokker, and things like that. Don't, try not to go for um, Russian uh, manufacturers, because, uh, yeah, they don't... <laughs> although they could be good, uh, yeah, they're not actually... Um, uh, they can't, they're not really uh, as good uh, as... Um, so, well, they're, they're less economical and less efficient uh, variants of uh, US designs, or, or Western designs, uh, essentially. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, business uh, here. And this is a... Uh, well, you'll have a uh, first class as well, uh, as you know. Uh, yeah, I usually have a uh, 52 inches uh, for this. Uh, I would uh, do it uh, for other seats. Uh, but, yeah. I can't actually uh, for this one, because, uh, yeah, we're only in 1960. And so, uh, yeah, you just have it like that. And just uh, I have a uh, 32 inches there for the economy and a uh, 52 inches there for the uh, the business class. And for first class I have it uh, 72 inches. Uh, I won't need any engine upgrades, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order uh, all the two routes. So uh, yeah, I can show you uh, like a domestic route and a uh, and uh, well I can't really do a domestic route uh, in uh, the UK, but uh, yeah, I guess I could show you like a route going through. I'll probably go to New York and I'll probably go to somewhere like uh, I don't know like uh, Athens or somewhere like that. Not Istanbul. Uh, on, along those lines, so uh, yeah, we'll just uh, have to uh, go two turns, as you probably know. And uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, this. Uh, that's just what you have to do. Just uh, yeah, and manage to uh, uh, have your airplane to live because it takes uh, two months uh, for that to uh, that to happen. So uh, yeah, well, I don't have anything uh, now. And uh, apparently, San Jose in Costa Rica is uh, is gaining a, uh, attention as her tra new travel destination. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll just um and go uh, into uh, March uh, 1960. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, uh, have the, uh, these uh, planes delivered. So uh, yeah, one thing uh, I just want to say before I get started is that uh, oh, I, was, I wasn't going to say that point first, but I guess uh, as we just come up here, it'll be a good point to start off on. Uh, yeah, as I said, I don't get Russian airliners, but I also don't um, I also don't do short haul airliners at first as well. Yeah, don't start with start with short haul, even if you're um, uh, doing effective airline, uh, uh, doing effective airline, even if you're uh, <laughs> oh, that's what you're doing out of this. Uh, but yeah, when you're actually um. And when you're, uh, yeah, just like even when you're doing it um, uh, as uh, with the uh, computer players, because uh, they're normally you not know, right uh, before. I said, oh, start up with short haul because uh, then you can make um, you make a lot more money out of that because uh, yeah, there's uh, there's no other um, airline, um, there's no other airlines um, going out on that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> how wrong was I? Um, yeah, <laughs> even when uh, just like. Even if you don't, because uh, uh, I was doing that when I had no computer players on, so uh, yeah, just uh, don't do short haul, uh, yeah, like T104, T124. Uh, uh, I'm at uh, uh, first, yeah, don't do short haul at first. I'm not saying you can't do it, just uh, yeah, don't do it. But to start off with, uh, do long haul routes first, so you get uh, the, the airline on the ground rolling, and uh, yeah, you can uh, then just, um, yeah, you can uh, then uh, make sure that you've got uh, a very, um, uh, or you've got, uh, you've got profit. Uh, uh, growing, g going, uh, rather, and uh, yeah, you can uh, just uh, 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 you can uh, set up a uh, short haul route uh, later on, because uh, uh, yeah, long haul routes are much more profitable, uh, over twice the amount, uh, twice twice as profitable uh, as I uh, as I showed uh, uh, with the Norwich Airways, and they're twice as uh, uh, twice as uh, profitable as uh, uh, most short haul routes are. So yeah, I'm going from Heathrow to uh, New York. I've done it so many times that it's usually nine uh, schedules a week. Yeah, so many uh, airlines are set up on this game. I've been playing this game for uh, uh, for over uh, over a year. I'd say about a year and a half now. And uh, yeah, I have uh, become uh, very experienced with it. Uh, yeah, it's, um, and I guess uh, if you're uh, watching this now and uh, trying to uh, come up with your own strategies, then uh, yeah, you can uh, become uh, as effective uh, at the game as uh, the, as uh, I am. So uh, yeah, you don't have to uh, like I said, you don't have to do uh, exactly uh, the games um, uh, the games. <laughs> you don't have to do exactly um, the, the the things like getting the the different planes like things like that. You don't have to do that. But uh, yeah. That's just the way I do it, uh, but yeah, like I said, um, if you uh, if you decide to uh, take up other things like um, uh, starting up with long haul routes or things like that, and then uh, yeah, you'll uh, have a much more profitable airline. Uh, so yeah, I'll just uh, use a DCA11 as I got. Oh, it's only eight. <laughs> Probably because I use the 707 to start off off with and uh, things like that. And so we usually have uh, my fares at uh, 1:30 uh, on the on the little uh, thing here where what's in the brackets. Uh, yeah, I usually try and make it round to uh, yeah like 7:30 there. I try and make it a round number, uh, so uh, yeah, I, I try and make it either uh, end with a five or a, uh, a zero. Sometimes I can't do that, so uh, yeah, I just try and make it uh, as uh, round as possible. And uh, yeah, if you're setting up uh, an airline with uh, competitors, and try and make it as low as possible. So uh, yeah, if you had a 130, and um, <coughs> and uh, there was a lot of airlines on that route, uh, then uh, yeah, you could just uh, put your prices down a bit. And uh, yeah, while while there's uh, no other airlines on our on other routes, uh, then you could just uh, make um, <coughs> Excuse me. We do just uh, make 
Um, um, yeah. Make money here from the other ones. Uh, so, uh, if you just, uh, yeah, just uh, get uh, all of this at the duty free. Uh, quite, as uh, quite a usual thing to have, so. <laughs> as you do on uh, international flights. And, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, have uh, all the, um, satisfactory things here. So, headsets, dr all the drinks are most uh, popular one. Then you've got things like neck pillows, blankets, magazines, headset. And the kids' gift isn't as popular, as you can see. And so, yeah, I usually do that as uh, if there's, like, uh, like, 58% uh, like that, and I use that so I can get it. Oh. Not quite up to a sixty percent, but uh, yeah, I use uh, the wake up service like a uh, service, I guess. And so uh, yeah, uh, there's uh, you have sixty percent there, and then you get the forty percent on the bottom one. Uh, I usually use just a uh, teriyaki salmon, and uh, yeah, I'll probably like something like noodle soup on longer haul routes. Uh, as you probably know, uh, you'll get uh, um, you you even get like three airline meals. So uh, yeah, you don't have to use all of them. I use the first two. Uh, so yeah, that will uh, get you up to a hundred percent. So yeah, not a lot less hassle. So uh, yeah. And one thing that'll be good is uh, try and keep uh, your slots down. Uh, how many slots you have at different airports? Uh, at, at your uh, at your own airport, I just keep them because uh, if you're setting up a lot of routes, then there's no point of constantly getting rid of them if you're just going to get loads again to set up more and more routes. So uh, yeah, I just keep those ones. But at the other airports you're going to, if you're not going to go from there again, uh, yeah. And then uh, yeah, it's so best to um, it's best to just uh, yeah get rid of uh, those slots. Now uh, yeah, as I set up this route, uh, yeah, what you what you should do. Is uh, yeah, you don't actually uh, you don't actually have to stick to uh, your first uh, hub uh, that you uh, you get you start at the start of the game. So yeah, I could go from Amsterdam uh, eventually. I could go from New York as I have. I could go from like Chicago. I could go from um, Los Angeles, like somewhere in Asia, like Tokyo or Seoul or Shanghai or Beijing or so or Hong Kong, somewhere like that. You don't have to go. Uh, you don't have to go. Uh, exclusively from the, uh, your uh, original hub. You know, yeah, because I get <laughs> I guess that's where you're headquartered. Uh, but yeah. And you're not actually uh, restricted to that, so uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, the next thing that we can do is uh, oh, we could uh, that that's the that's the first route uh, put in. So uh, yeah, I uh, one thing I don't do is uh, that I don't put in cargo. There's no really <laughs> for me. There's no real point of uh, putting in cargo because uh, you don't because uh, uh, you could. Well, uh, one one thing that is uh, the main the main thing for me is you can't renovate them uh, with uh, these uh, airliners. If I just uh, get the um the DC-11. I just get the one going to New York. Uh, yeah, you can actually renovate these. Um, and there, and uh, you can make them like higher uh, uh, satisfaction. Like when when they start to depreciate, which means the satisfaction goes down. Uh, yeah, you can uh, get. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> just swallowing. Then you can actually um, you can actually uh, increase their satisfaction. Like even if you don't change the seats on there, if you just go on the renovation and then press renovate, uh, yeah, it'll bring up the satisfaction a bit. And so uh, yeah, you can just uh, do that, but you can't do that with cargo airlines. So they'll just sit at five percent satisfaction, uh, and uh, yeah, you'll uh, <laughs> that will be uh, one thing, especially if you're doing uh, airlines with the competitors, and they do actually do cargo. They don't just uh, ex exclusively to um to uh, to passenger uh, carrying. But uh, yeah, I just um I stick to passengers because uh, yeah, when you could set up if you have a like this route that I've just done, going you know, from London to New York, and uh, yeah, and you, you wanted to set up a cargo route from London to New York. Uh, you could just still make as much money go from going from London to like Cairo or somewhere like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah, there's um, there's still uh, quite a lot of money to be made up from passenger uh, carrying services. So uh, yeah, that's uh, another reason why I don't use uh, cargo services. So uh, yeah, well, you don't have to. It's uh, not uh, absolutely imperative. Uh, but yeah, that's just uh, the strategies that I use. So I guess we can go to uh, Cairo next. I guess we don't have to go uh, right across the Atlantic. We can just go somewhere. Uh, in Europe or in Asia, uh, we could go, go to somewhere like Dubai. Uh, oh no, <laughs> Dubai's not actually that popular. I thought it'd be more popular than that. Uh, yeah, we could go to uh, Cairo. Uh, somewhere, I guess Cairo would be the best place to go. Uh, oh, not there. <laughs> Especially at the moment, we don't want to go there. Um <laughs> right. Um, I guess we could go to. We could, I guess we could go to Rome, because, uh, yeah, if you start up a Heathrow, the game usually tries to direct you to go to Rome, and it's usually uh, 20 slots, so, uh, yeah. Well, and in fact, if the DC-8 will be slow, so it'll be 19 slots. <laughs> 19 schedules a week, sorry, yeah. Um, and, yeah, the schedules are on different schedules a week, as you probably know. <laughs> I'm taking this video as a, yeah, I'm uh, while recording this video, I'm taking it as you know how to play the game, and everything, and these are just uh, better strategies on uh, how to do that, so. Oh, yeah, I'll just, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'll just uh, take it that you do, and uh, yeah, if uh, <laughs> if you haven't learned that yet, then try and learn uh, everything. 
then you know come to this video. Uh, so yeah, they, they, for some reason what they do, um, they for some reason they sell the uh, the um, Lockheed uh, Constellation the 1049 L to L1049 for some reason. Look, I don't know why they do that because it went out of production in 1958 and you started in 1960. Yeah, talking for really. Let's watch it take off. I know it sounds like a jet. It's really weird. Uh, do, 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 do. And there it goes. Up in the air, and yeah, they don't have landing gear. In the game, whatever, and they all, and they always have this A three hundred parked here, even <laughs> even when it was not even thought of around this around this time. And they still have it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I have just uh, requested a bunch more sorts in London. And uh, so uh, what we'll do is uh, yeah, we'll just uh, set up uh, this route uh, to Rome. Now, uh, one thing that I want to show you, <laughs> you probably saw it with um. Oh really? It was twenty. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Um, what I did. So one thing that I did was um. Well, one thing that happens is uh, when I open the route, like right at the end of where uh, when you open the route, uh, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, it'll be better to explain it. Uh, yeah, um, of uh, why it's like not there. Something was not there. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll just uh, set up uh, this route to Rome and get the other uh, DC8 in, uh, like so. And you can just replace these eventually. You don't have to uh, get them, uh, get them, uh, and uh, keep them there. And just like close the route when you are, uh, yeah, when uh, the plane is um is uh is uh, run out of its lifespan. Oh yeah, you don't have to do that. And why can't this go down? <laughs> I don't know. Right, should I give that to uh, one thirty? Oh uh, yeah, uh, at least uh, so it's, can we put it uh, to uh, three hundred fifty? No, I'll put it uh, uh, three hundred forty-five. Uh, that's uh, okay. And for the business, I'll so just uh, yeah put it around the same uh, number. I'll put it at uh, yeah, we'll put it at uh, eight six five. And um, by the looks of it, so uh, yeah, I'll just put that in. I'll put in uh, the uh, the duty free, and uh, we'll put in uh, the drinks and the headset. We'll put that to it, yes, it will. And then we'll just put in uh, the noodle soup, and something like that. Now, look. Yes, <laughs> you might be wondering where's that plane taking off? I that um is meant to be there. Yeah, that it's meant to be there. For some reason, it doesn't come up on my tablet. I do not know why. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I meant to say. That's so, uh, yeah. Um, that should be uh, you should be able to get profitable uh, from that. So uh, yeah. Need to come out of our minus profits. Uh, so yeah, look at that. I'm already making two million, and I'm already carrying uh, twelve uh, thousand passengers. So uh, yeah, now that will uh, be the good start to the airline. And uh, oh yeah, because I've got a billion now. I've signed up for the aviation insur insurance. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I think that um, <coughs> I think that uh, if you use these strategies, like uh, after you set up a few routes in London, if you are going here, for example, uh, yeah, after you set up uh, quite a few routes, you could start going from uh, New York. And just start going, yeah, like I said, start going from other places. And you don't have to do two, you can do like, have like three, four, even five. Um, and that hub as well, again, like prime, their primary hub will be where your headquarter, then you have like a secondary hub, and a tertiary hub, maybe even quantum, like I said, a quaternary hub, maybe even a, is it a quaternary or something? Excuse me, I don't know. I don't know how to say that, yeah. Because uh, to me, I, I, I only learned recently I have to sell like the fourth, because it's like uh, primary is one, secondary is two. Tertiary three, and then there's um, uh, and then there's quaternary, which is like the fourth, and then <laughs> yeah, I don't have to sell the uh, to say the fifth one. I think it's like um, quaternary because like Q U I um N uh, means uh, about five. So and uh, yeah, like I said, uh, if you use uh, those sort of strategies, and uh, yeah, uh, you can just uh, try and uh, keep your um. Keep your airline that uh, quite profitable, and uh, yeah, you can ride out things such as the uh, like oil crisis. Uh, the oil crises and uh, yeah, also uh, the uh, the economic crises. Uh, yeah, it's not always, not always. Uh, yeah, and survivable if you have like a smaller airline. Yeah, it doesn't usually come in the 1960s. It usually comes you know, like in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it comes in your first 10 years. So uh, yeah, you can actually uh, sort of get your feet on the ground. And uh, yeah, it doesn't actually uh, punish you with a <laughs> like you're only just starting up your airline. It punishes you with a uh, yeah. A crisis like that, but I don't know. <laughs> I just never had it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this has uh, helped you in some way of uh, how to set up an, an effective airline. And like I said, I just keep the strategies up. Uh, as I said, I'm not actually going to uh, yeah do a <laughs> massively long video here in a few parts. So yeah, I just want to show you how to set up uh, an effective airline like this, uh, where you are just uh, uh, where you just uh, get uh, you just uh, this is sort of how you, how to start uh, the process of becoming an effective airline. Like I said, uh, the uh, the video I did on Norwich Airways. Uh, showing you uh, how you did that. Uh, yeah, if you just want to, um, uh, but like I said, uh, it's a link in the description, uh, so you can, uh, yeah, after the, after you finish watching this video, well, sometime this video, I don't know. Uh, yeah, if you want to uh, watch that, that will show you how to, um, that will show you how, uh, yeah, uh, how um, these uh, things that I've, uh, these things that I come up with, and these strategies that I come up with, 
uh, are applied. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you for taking time out of your day. If you're to my channel, and click on this video, and hope you watched this one. Like, hope you did. And uh, yeah, there's um and my new series two. Although I would have had a few episodes by now go out, so I should think uh, probably like one, uh, two or three. Uh, yeah, uh, my uh, my uh, air token four. Um, series uh, two is uh, now um, has now begun. Uh, yeah, I did a series one. Uh, if you haven't seen that, then uh, yeah, uh, you don't have to watch that first and then watch series two. Uh, yeah, if you want to see sort of how how I progress through the game, yeah, uh, just be warned. Part one is uh, yeah, uh, I sound a lot different because <laughs> I recorded over a year ago. But yeah, it is a quite a uh, it's a quite a revealing about how I sound and everything. But yeah, uh, it's just uh, I thought I'm gonna start a second series because uh, yeah, Air Type Four has become quite popular and uh, yeah, I have uh, quite characterised the game uh, on the on this uh, channel. So again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video if you decide to do that one as well. Bye.